The first thing to note about the SR-25 war, this thing looks sick. That is one attractive looking battle rifle. Now for the stat comparison. What you see here is the SR-25 original and SR-25 war, both with bipods and extended mags, no barrel attachments. So what you can take away from this is they're going for a higher DPS with slightly lowered accuracy and control. You get 4 extra damage, 9 extra fire rate, slightly worse accuracy, slightly worse control. So it's up to you what you want to do from there. Because you can do barrel attachments and change things up. Now personally I'm more of a muzzle brake guy. As you can see, I put a muzzle brake on this to get that control a little bit up. That way, the damage will be better than the SR-25 original. It'll be slightly more spammable, and it'll be closer to the accuracy. There should be an image of the SR-25 original with a muzzle brake on the screen as well. Now you may also consider a silencer on the SR-25 war. This has been mentioned on the forums because it will make it similar to the SR-25 SD. It won't necessarily be as good in stats, it's equal in damage, less fire rate, um, but you get the medium barrel. And let me show you that. If I were to just go over here and shoot that guy in the head, that's 99 damage. When I tested the SR-25 SD on that, it did 93. This guy, 97, that's better than what the SR-25 SD did. 102, the SR-25 SD did 97 there. So, we're suffering from ever so slightly less damage drop off. That's 92, that was not even a headshot, so it's 41, that was a miss. Alright, let's grab the SR-25 SD real quick. Alright, and let's see what we do on these guys right to the head. So that's 83, that's bad. So, you could silence the SR-25 war, and while it would be less spammable like this, you can't go quite that fast with the SR-25 war. You're gonna suffer a lot less from damage drop-off at long range. It's something to consider, and to some degree it's a matter of preference. My verdict is that the SR-25 war is worth buying in the bundle. Because you get other guns and goodies with it, and it can be customized to be better than the other SR-25s. It's nicer damage gives you a lot of freedom to customize it to your needs. You can put a silencer on it without wrecking the damage. That's a good bonus. In the end, it's a matter of preference. So while it's hard to make a decision about this gun with all the different sniping styles out there, I'd say it's probably worth getting the bundle for this gun and the P90 together.